Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I'm going to be planning the week of May 3rd, also known as the week of Mother's Day, in my memory planner. This is, of course, my RR Style A5 Wide Cloud Planner, and I have this kit called Her Day from Scribble Printsco. It is actually the full size kit. I know I usually get the mini kit, but for some reason I bought the full size of this. I don't remember why, but I am going to go with it. This is actually my first time using a full size kit from her shop in kind of a while, and you get so much stuff in this. And this is my first time using this exact format, so I'm really excited. To try it out. Love all the cute deco, glitter headers, so much functional stuff. You get all of these rounded boxes plus two pages of these like squared off functional items and one in all of the solid colors and one in all of the pattern washi. So there's just so much stuff in this, like more than I could possibly use, but I'm going to have a good time trying it out. And the bottom washi and date covers. And then this is not washi. It's actually, um, a, like a solid full box if you want like to do a quote overlay or something but this one actually even came with even more full boxes this was a freebie for the mother's day kit on both sizes of the kit it has like some official happy mother's day boxes with this little mom frame and the cake as well so i am going to pull out these pages and jump in so if you are a regular watcher of my channel, you may have noticed that I skipped a week in between my plan with me's. I skipped the week before this, the last week in April, and I just uh, had this one spring kit that was coming in the mail and it came just a little bit late and I had some time to do planning. So I decided to just go ahead and plan this week while I was just waiting for that kit to come. But I already have that kit now. So I'm going to go ahead and plan that as my next spread, probably right after I finish this voiceover. So that video will be up at some point next week. So anyway, it's not, I'm not behind or anything. I just had to sort of skip one week and circle back to it. But anyway, this was the week of Mother's Day. And since I had the full kit here and I had in gold foil, these bougie boxes from a caress press, uh, mystery kit that had come in like the full four page foil wiggle type thing. I decided to go ahead and do another bougie box week spread since it was Mother's Day and I had all the the goodies and everything. So I just decided to go ahead and do that and it was so much easier laying them down using the actual boxes than when I did it last time and I used the uh, the roll overlays because I just struggle with those rolls so much. Honestly, I love them because they're such good value and I have a lot of them and I think like it's really nice to get foil overlays in that in that format, but I just can't get them to come off the roll correctly. I feel like I throw out as many as I use and then it feels wasteful. So in order to torture myself for this spread, I decided to just use them for, <laughs> for the regular foil overlays instead of doing them for the underlays. I actually don't have full like full bougie box underlays in gold in the rolls. Uh, I've I never buy them. I just have gotten them in, in grab bags and stuff. Um, so that's why I have them in rose gold and I think in silver, but I don't have them in gold. So anyway, I am using sticker, sticker ones from Caress Press for the underlays. And then for the overlays, I am going to use these new foil overlay tapes that I got from Rose Colored Days. And I, I swear I broke 20 of them trying to get the overlays uh, unrolled. I just, I don't know how you get them out without just destroying them. Uh, most of them I was able to save, save and uh, you will see me like piecing them together over the full boxes as to not waste them because, you know, I don't want to throw them out. But <laughs> um, anyway, I like, I wouldn't mind like if a few break every now and then, but it's really frustrating when I unroll a roll and like 20 of them break. It's always really bad at the beginning and these were the first time I used these boxes, but in my experience it only improves marginally after they've been used the first time. So if you have any tips for getting them off the roll without breaking them, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Some shops break more than others I've found, but I haven't found any shop where the overlay tapes don't at least like at least a good amount of them break so it's not like one specific shop or anything it really seems like it's all of them uh anyway the the ones that I did use I think I already mentioned or I'm about to use uh are going to be from Rose Colored Days from her from the recent Planner Boss collective sale which I went so hard at <laughs> anyway this was a good week I got my second COVID vaccine on Wednesday of this week so really really excited about that uh as it stands right now I have like three or mm, 
well, a little bit more. I think I have like four or five more days and then I am past the two week grace period and 100% fully vaccinated. So super, super excited. My husband gets his shot, his second shot next week. And yeah, I'm just very, very much excited about that. It was also Mother's Day. We had a, a pretty nice Mother's Day. Honestly, like the kids were kind of wild and no sleep and not really honoring my request that as my Mother's Day gift, they just be on their best behavior. Of course not. Uh, but we did have a really nice time. We went to my sister-in-law's house and my brother-in-law is a chef and every time we see him I ask him to make this one thing that he made like one time two years ago or something like that and for Mother's Day he he actually he finally made it for me so that was really really nice of him and it was absolutely delicious and it's a porchetta in case you're wondering and he woke up in the middle of the night to start this thing for me so we could have it for lunch so very very super grateful for that and it was just absolutely delicious. Uh, we also used our grill to smoke something for the first time this weekend too, which we've been really dying to try. My husband is like all in on trying to smoke a brisket because he, I guess he misses Texas a little bit, which is, we're from this area, but he misses barbecue. I won't say he misses Texas. He misses barbecue. <laughs> um, and I miss tacos. But anyway, uh, in terms of what we used to like eat out or get takeout from all the time in Texas. But there is lots of good food food here in Philly, and it, it definitely tastes like home here. Anyway, uh, I yeah, so that was really fun. We smoked a pork. It went really well. We thought that we read that that was like way easier to do than a brisket, uh, and it also takes way shorter. So we did that on Saturday, and we will be, I think, attempting a brisket this weekend or maybe next weekend. We still have to go and find one. You have to like buy a special kind of brisket that you, at least we can't get in the regular supermarket here. And when we lived in Texas, you could definitely get it in the HB, but not in the supermarket here. You need like the full, like the flat and whatever the other side is called. I don't remember it. Anyway, now you can see me trying to piece those full boxes together, like I said before. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I really... I felt like this second time using bougie boxes, it was definitely a little bit easier than my first time. I also had so much stuff to work with since I had the full SPC kit and these kits are just so, so huge. So I really do like the way that this turns out and the way it comes together. I'm going to use once more with Love Munchkins and Paper and Milk Marus. I just, I don't know. It was, I was really feeling the overall vibe. Plus I recently just got some happy mail from Once More With Love, uh, like a, a really large order. And I wanted to use some of those stickers. I think those will be in my next haul, which will again, probably be up next week, but if not the week after, I was just waiting for the last of my PBC orders and some other stuff that I have bought recently. Super, super excited. I've got some really, really lovely summer kits and goodies and just other fun stuff as well. I mean, I always do, right? I can't, I can't stop buying stickers. So, you know, um, and then the other really awesome thing that happened this week was I, I read a ton and this is actually like yay for the planner community. So I randomly messaged, uh, Samantha plans or Samantha reads and plans. I think she's called now. Uh, she has a YouTube channel and she actually does this bougie box style of planning. And I was just, she's also a librarian. And so sometimes I ask her book questions and I was just like, Hey, is it normal that my local library has absolutely nothing available on Kindle and like no new releases and all this stuff. And she, anyway, she explained why about like budgets and stuff like that and the way that they kind of have to buy the books individually on Kindle. But then she told me and looked it up for me that I could get a Philadelphia library card just because I live in the state. You don't have to live in the city. And she like sent me the link and everything. It was so nice of her. And they have easily 20 times as many books as like my local library does on Kindle. So I've been able to get so many books on Kindle that have been on like my list to read forever. And I really prefer to read on Kindle. So I've been super enjoying that. And I am really just grateful to Sam for giving me that information. So yeah, anyway, on Monday, other than that, I just had my regular stuff. I did work. I did some planning. I read a bunch. And then we actually had a little bit of a grill disaster. Uh, I had like not washed this new pan like new grill pan and because I didn't realize I like just forgot I didn't wash it when I got it and then I didn't I just cooked on it and it made everything taste really really gross so that was unfortunate but live and learn <laughs> and now I have washed it and it works fine and then yeah that was pretty much it for that day on Tuesday I was up really really early because our power went partially out in the middle of the night we were having ongoing power issues since the Friday 
of the last week because of this big windstorm in our area. And anyway, it was so bad. I ended up calling our local utility and their customer service was so amazing. They sent someone out that day and it got fixed and we haven't had any issues since then. So it was really awesome. Uh, so, you know, 10 out of 10. Um, I really feel like everybody usually complains about utility services and customer service, but it was just a really positive experience and they fixed it like right away and well. So that was great. Uh, we, my husband, my son had an eye doctor appointment on Tuesday as well and everything's fine. He had just at his, his feet, like we had flagged something with his pediatrician at his well check and they said we should just take him to the eye doctor just in case, but everything ended up being totally fine. And just other than that, it was like kind of a chill day. On Wednesday, uh, I had a really relaxing morning and then I went and got my COVID vaccine. My dad babysat the baby while she was napping during that the big kids were at school and then I since he was there and she was sleeping I just ran some errands including picking up a teacher gift for the kids teachers because I am the room parent for one of the kids so I just picked up some teacher gifts for teacher appreciation week and then just hung out and watched tv on Thursday I felt a little bit blah but honestly I felt worse after the first shot not after the second shot but I was definitely like not a hundred percent but it it went away really fast and uh, yeah, I definitely felt much, much worse after the first shot. Uh, and then I did take the kids to the playground because our cleaners were coming. I didn't last very long because I really had to go to the bathroom and they didn't, they haven't reopened the bathrooms at the playgrounds yet, which I would really like them to do. Um, I'm happy to wear a mask in there and like sanitize my hands and everything, but I would really like it if the bathrooms at the playground reopened. Anyway, uh, then I actually took the kids to get Wendy's uh, for lunch since I just wanted something we could drive through and the cleaners were still at our house and then that night we got Korean takeout for dinner and I just went to bed early and we just watched TV and stuff. And then on Friday, I was up really early on purpose uh, because I had to like write something and I just like hadn't been able to get in the flow earlier in the week. And I know that I do my best writing and all of my best work and thinking in the morning. So I woke up at like six and just uh, wrote for like an hour, an hour and a half uh, for, for a work thing, not just like randomly writing um, before before I took the kids to school. So that was really helpful. Um, and I got it all done. So it was up perfect. And then we, uh, I like binge watched Call the Midwife that day. And we grilled a pizza for dinner that night, which is something we used to do in Texas all the time. And it was our first time using the new grill to, to grill a pizza and it worked really well. And then I just took a bath and read. And then on Saturday, we just chilled in the morning and then we had a double birthday party. So my big kid had a drop off outdoor birthday party at like this art place. And then my son had a birthday party at a playground. So we dropped my daughter off and then took my son and the baby to the other birthday party. It was really nice to like get to be outside with people and meet some of the other parents in, in the class because I don't really know a lot of the parents in my son's class. I know more of the ones from like my daughter's class. Um, so anyway, that was really nice and really fun. And then I did some reading. We smoked that pork that night for dinner, which like took all afternoon, but it, was, it turned out really well. It was absolutely delicious. And then I just hung out and watched TV uh, that night. And then on Sunday uh, was Mother's Day. And we went to my sister-in-law's, like I said, and they made that amazing porchetta for us, which was so good. And uh, like, I feel like it was for me. I mean, I know it was for everyone, but it really was super, super nice of my brother-in-law. And then my husband did some grocery shopping that afternoon. I read and did actually wrote down that I finished a crown of pearl and coral, something like that. It was it's like a YA duology. I, that's the first one. And I really, really enjoyed it. So I should have the second one in a few weeks on Kindle because it's on hold. Anyway, and then I just went to bed early that night. And I love that new little pajama munchkin. So, so cute. So yeah, it was a really nice week. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I don't have like a lot of decorating to do because I did this bougie box style planning. So there's already some stuff in there, but I did put like a little bit of washi and a little bit of the, the thin deco in between, uh, the few, the few empty spaces that I have. And then I'm going to fill this out. And of course I'm going to use a ton of foil scripts. I feel like I always use a ton of foil scripts when I have a gold spread. I think just cause I have the most foil scripts in gold of, of any of the foil colors. Uh, and I actually have, sitting on my desk waiting to, for me to haul uh, another batch of them from Scribble Prince Co. from their anniversary sale. I bought a bunch more of my favorite scripts. So again, sucking up on gold and silver, but I don't 
buy rose gold from from her shop usually because it's just like too pink and I feel like it doesn't match the other shops rose gold this washi actually by the way all of the five millimeter washies that I used are from uh, are from uh simply gilded but that floral washi at the bottom is actually from art box stickers who's no longer open but I do love that washi and I have like a pink one as well so it's just super super pretty I love purple like so purple is definitely my favorite color uh and I so I just had to get this kit I just I love this kit so much I think it's so cute and last year I went with like a very like light touch mother's day kit and I kind of I loved the way that it looked but I kind of regretted it after and I was like you know what this year for mother's day I'm going all out with like the super over the top mother's day kit so I did and I'm glad I did and I think this looks so so cute I'm just really happy with how this came together but that is absolutely everything for this week so yeah Okay, that is everything all finished up. I absolutely love how this looks. Super, super foily and just like really, really pretty. I love the way this came together with the bougie waxes. Again, I don't plan on doing this every week, but every once in a while, it is definitely fun to plan in that style. Let me show you what I have left from the kit. I used a little bit of the deco and uh, one of the Monday through Sunday boxes and then I used a lot of this functional stuff but these kits are so huge it would be literally impossible for me to use everything uh, in a single week here I didn't even use any of these side boxes since I did the bougie box style planning I also have three extra full boxes since this did come with some extra ones and a little bit of bottom washi etc so that is everything for this week so if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at my crafty plans to keep up with everything going on in my Later. Bye.